Yes, something that's not new from the foodie market, aka Aldi. These are salt and vinegar chickpea sticks. Sound good to me. Um, apparently they're baked and not fried and they're suitable for you vegans out there and they are suitable for you gluten free as well. So that's good to know. Indeed. You need to know what's in it. Maybe I should just zoom in a bit. There we go. Bit of focus. That's what's found within this product. It's got rosemary extract. Mmm, tasty. Yeah, you like a um, salt and vinegar snack. As long as they are like really super salt and vinegary. Or not, I don't mind if they're not super salt and vinegary, but it's just a nice added touch. Yeah, let me know your, in the comments. Salt and vinegar snacks, where do you stand? Do you stand all the way this close as you can in this packet? Just so you can witness the internal contents of a bag of said snack. You do now. So, let's grab a couple. I'm sure if I... Yeah, they don't smell of an awful lot, but that's to be expected. And this is what they look like. They look like sticks. Because they're described as chickpea sticks. Who'd have thunk it? Um. Mm. Yep, they have a bit of a salt and vinegary twang. Not particularly long lasting, but pleasing enough. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they're an all right snack. I'm. Yeah, a bit indifferent to them. But, yeah, they're good. They're fine. They're adequate. They're tasty. They, well, they're tasty enough. They'd be good if they could sustain, but sometimes, I guess, you can't always have a super strong flavour that you just there the whole time. It has to disappear at some point, and sometimes it's a little bit quick. Yeah. Anyway, now if you see them um, at the checkout line, yeah, pick up a pack. Give them a nibble. And if you have done... Let me know in the comments below. But also, thank you for taking your time to watch me wave my hands in front of this camera and wave products in front of this camera. Um, like, share, subscribe, and um, yeah, thanks.